Hi everyone. It's Marsha, made by Marsha Mom. Um, how long has it been? January? Since I made my last video? I have no idea. I must get to look it up, but, um, yeah. How's everyone? I've been essentially working. We've had a death. We've had a birth. We've had, I've been promoted. I've been demoted. It was, uh, Temporary. Now I'm back to being promoted and I'm actually back to driving an hour to work each way because um, changes. It's always changes. Changes and changes and changes and management stepping down or leaving or part-timers getting new jobs or whatever. So life is crazy and yeah, I'm just going to deal with this spot. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> Anyways, what have I been up to besides working? That's about it. Um, went to Virginia. Saw my new grandbaby. I'll try to insert pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, there, there's a picture of him there. That's the only, like, crochet thing I've actually finished. I did make Emma the hat. Oh, the new baby is Lucas. He was supposed to be born on my birthday on May 26th, which is when I arranged my vacation. However, the little booger decided to come five weeks early, just like his brother. Um, drinking my coffee in my Halloween cup because, um, yeah, so I did go. I just got back from Virginia, but then it's been straight on work till whatever. I actually got to work today. I was off yesterday, but didn't do a video because I was still trying to unpack. I bought a new car. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you saw that. And, uh, no, nobody paid for it for me. <laughs> I actually, you know, boosted the economy myself. Um, that's because my old car was crap testing. <laughs> it's like, they only gave me $1,000 for the trade-in. And let me tell you, the headliner on the roof was falling down. Um, the windshield was cracked. The driver's side door only came down when it wanted to. And, um... I know we'd get stuck down. When it decided to come down, it would stay stuck down. And I had to bang it. And yeah, um, I think getting $1,000 for it was pretty good. Um, I'm going to miss my stickers, though. I had stickers on my car from my Cricut. But yeah, um, this car's getting nothing. I don't, I don't even drink anything but water in there. And it's going to kill everybody. Like, I, <laughs> oh, I'm going all over the place. But you know me. It's a mad mess, Marsha Day. Let me see. I can't get comfortable because I also got a new phone. So I don't even know if this video is going to go up because I don't know. I mean, I knew my program on my other phone, but anyways. um, Yeah, so I went to Virginia to see the new baby, Lucas. And then I saw my Emmett, of course, and my daughter. And then my other daughter was because Steph had to have an emergency C-section. So um, she's taken off more time off of work than she would have if she would have had a regular birth, but that didn't happen. Um, but he's fine, fine, tiny, but, um, he's, Lucas is fine. She's fine. But anyway, she got to go for all her checkups this week. So I was there last week. So what happened was, <laughs> hi, Seta. I missed you in Virginia. Um, what had happened was, I decided to bring souvenirs back from Virginia. So, since she was off work anyways, um, I brought her and the boys down here so that the, my granddaughters that live here could actually meet them. And then we wouldn't have to worry about trying to get everybody up there again during the summer. So, um, I said all that to say this, that I brought them home with souvenirs. And Ashley, my other daughter, was going up there. She left Saturday. Because today is, uh, I think, Tuesday. I don't know. My calendar is still on January in my craft space. So <laughs> that's what it's been like. Um, so they left Saturday. She'll come back this Saturday. And today's Wednesday. So, no, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Tuesday the 7th or 8th or whatever of June 2020. Um, yeah, so it's been busy crazy kind of you know hot mess marsha kind of life and you can see lee i got a mess I'm trying to rearrange all this stuff but most importantly i posted my birthday presents on my facebook and then i felt really horrible because i forgot i was already in virginia because i told i peaked amber amber sent me a birthday present 
And I, I got it way early in the month because I think Ella's birthday is like the 8th of May. Mine's at the end. And so I didn't open it, didn't open it. said, so that's going to be my, pr oh, pardon me if we shake because I got you attached to my table. Um, so I got it early and I said, I'm not going to open it until I make a video. I got to make a video. And I did peek. I didn't see it all. But anyways, Miss Amber. Hi, Daisy. Miss, oh, I didn't even see these. Look at that. Um, Miss Amber sent me a handy dandy, um, oh, it's a sewing one. Um, sticky bag. It's beautiful. She sent me, oh, they're Simplicity Benches tea towels, which, um, yeah, I won't put in my kitchen. I will save them forever. Oh, look at this. Shoot. She even sent me a card. Happy birthday from the, <laughs> happy birthday from the bottom of my butt. That's an inside joke. <laughs> nice butt, Amber. Um, it's a lot bigger than my art. Aw, she's so sweet. And she didn't have to because, you know, you don't have to. Anyway, sorry. Um, Oh, and a, is this a measuring tape? I think it is, which I need. Because, of course, I went to Virginia and Emmett needed a... I brought yarn and because Emmett needed new hats because his head's gotten a lot bigger because I always call him handsome. No, I'm, <laughs> he's just growing. Um, so, I could have used this, but like I said, I only peeked. I didn't really open it. Um, and then she sent me... Oh, this is, the, do they all click on here, Amber? Are these keychains that I can put my new cart keys on? Crochet, yarn, can you see them? Beautiful and purple. Oh, and this one, oh, that's where they all go. Look, she sent me, oh, hooker. I don't know if you can see that the right way around. And travel, traveling. Yep, yeah, that's what I do. A star. And then a four, six, and eight. And there's a old eyes. A train and a train track and a railroad crossing. I don't know if you can see those. Um, Wait a minute. Let me turn. Turn. Yeah, that's a good angle for my old self. There's, oh, Lord, let me do them one at a time. Oh. I don't know where the lens is on this one. Railroad symbol. Oh, Lord. Don't look at my hands either. They're a hot mess smothered in beef gravy. A railroad track and a little choo-choo train. And that's funny because I always ended up being like the train in Monopoly because everybody else took the good pieces. You know, family of eight. Anyway, so I got those and these. And, oh, they're penguins. I think they're penguins. <gasps> they are penguins. Don't tell Ashley. Don't tell my daughter, Ashley. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Thank you, Amber. Finally, I got to see what I got. All right. So I got that. And Amber makes stitch markers. So Amber at Ooh Ah Crochet. So I'll I'll put links in. If this actually gets up today, um, the links might not go on until tomorrow. Because like I said, I have to drive an hour to work because they transferred me stores temporarily. Anyways, and then... You know, I've been sending people cards. That's me. You know, that's that's who I am because I haven't been able to. Ha I don't have the patience for a crochet right now. And my hands have been hurting. Um. Anyway, so I came home for Virginia and I don't know when this got sent. So I was gone, I don't know, 10 days and then I came home. And I was home like three days <laughs> before I noticed. That's what a hot mess my life is. <laughs> Before I noticed, sitting behind my seal and meal in the kitchen was this, this box. Miss Seta sent me some decor for my craft room, which she didn't have to do. And, oh, there was an, oh, Lord, she had me a card, too. I have no idea. I th maybe it's in here. And she sent me a, um, I'll just keep going on. She, or a note. Oh, it's a note. It's a note with her postcard. That's what it is. Um, I can grow my own chamomile. I'm going to have to plant it. And I do have a plant window. I used to be really good at plants. Back at my old house. And look. They match. 
So I have that. And then she sent me yarny goodness. She sent me three balls of La Mia bamboo in yellow. So that all matches. And looks like it got dusty or something. I don't know. But it's beautiful. I've never, and that's really, really soft. And that matches, too. Then she sent me her packet of goodness. I've got a green tea, a tea candy, and her lemon packets, which I've been buying forever. Um, and there's her car. I think you can see her information. I love me some Seta. And she goes, thank you. Thank you so much. You are always thinking to me with your handmade beautiful cards. I just wanted to send you a little something. Blessing Seta. She could have just sent me this. I would have been happy. So, there goes that. Now I can actually say, yay, I've got it done. But thank you both of you very much, very, very much. And um, I think <laughs> somewhere in this mess, I got an Easter card from Carrie Penny. Oh, maybe I can find it. Don't look at this mess. I'm just going to scoot back. Maybe not. Ooh. Oh, wait, maybe. I think I put it in here. I think. Ugh. I think. Um, well, this is another card I got. I got an, uh, um, a swap through one of the um, YouTube channels I watch. Um, Artful Stamping with Ruth. I got a handmade card, too. Um, we all did a handmade swap during the, you know, the C word. So we all sent cards. And then I got another one in that same swap with a lovely note with the dragonflies. Aren't they cute? Got that one. Let's see, Carrie, I know you're in here. Well, you should. Oh, what? yep. It is. There's my Carrie. Easter card from Carrie. See how long it's been since I made a video? Isn't it beautiful? I have Easter bunny stickers. The only Easter card I got this year. <laughs> so, that was my happy mail goodness. Hang on. going to cough. <coughs> As usual. Because I haven't coughed in forever, but... Anyway, so that... I think that's all... Oh, by the way, oh, wait, wait, no. Da, 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 da. These are my old cards, I think. I don't think I have anything new, and if I do, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm in a hot mess smother and beef gravy, and that little creative thing that I had that was stuck to the wall where I could slip all my happy mail in, yeah, that went over like a you-know-what in church because it unstuck. So let me get this oh, out of the way. <coughs> and this out of the way. And I think the only new yarn I got was um the Enmet colors. Well, besides the stuff Seta sent me, I'm working on Emmett's yellow hat. I already made him a green one, sort of. I made him, oh, I don't have it. Out of this yarn which is Barcelona. He wanted green. And um, then he picked out these colors. Um, and then I made the baby a hat in this one. But I don't have any of that because they're back in Virginia. One day I'll finish Emmett's yellow hat. But they... Oh, sorry. I'm way out of camera. Um, one day I'll finish Emmett's hat. But <sighs> it's kind of hot up there now. But it was cold for me, which was... I had to wear my jacket. <laughs> I'm such a Floridian now. Hi, Billy. Um, let's see what else. And then I've got, you know, I've acquired so much stuff that this video will, I'm already at 15 minutes, but I managed to get my new mixer. Pat, did you see it? I posted a picture. Um, my mixer broke on the move when I moved here three years ago. I have a um, KitchenAid 
and I have attachments and I make pierogies for those who don't know I'm Polish. Um, hi Wanda who made me a yarny pierogi. Anyways, I couldn't make pierogies because, um, it's a lot of work. I, we, yeah. So I wanted a mixer, wanted a mixer and to get my other one fixed because it's practically brand new. KitchenAid does last, but it would have cost me $79 to mail it to, um, the authorized repair center. Then it would have cost me $79 to mail it back. Then, whatever the repair was for the switch, which was now plastic. Shame on you. Shame on you, KitchenAid. Because my mom's is still running. And if I could have got a hold of my mom's, I would have replaced my switch. But my mom's, I think, is in Michigan or somewhere. I don't know. But, so, I had the KitchenAid mixer that one day, if we ever go to Orlando, I'll drop it off. Save me 79 bucks. But I couldn't see spending 300 bucks for a $399 mixer, which I bought on Tuesday mornings when I first moved down here. So, Long story short, um, for my birthday slash Mother's Day, my daughter and my anonymous donor um, split it and got me the, um, like, professional, professional, like, it's the $700 mixer, but that's not what they paid for it, but it's, it's gray, gunmetal gray, and it's, I haven't even used it yet because it's just been crazy pants. And then I, you know, I got the new car. I got a bunch of Stampin' Up! stuff back there. Um, Stampin' Up! launched their new catalog. So I, I've been, I kind of overbought. So I haven't even been able to touch everything. And um, what else? What else? What else? Um, hi, Liliana. Hi, Pat. Hi, Amber. Hi, Ella. Hi, Terry. Hi, everybody. Hi, Rose. Gosh, I should have wrote it all down because I know I'm forgetting something. Um, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Anyway, so, and I'm, weirdly, I've been getting subbies. I already made a video. Which, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I don't know how much yarny goodness I'm going to get out on this channel because I think I shared in my last few videos, my hands are getting... Well, first it was because I was off my medicine, but I have a thyroid condition and get, trying to get to the doctors and all this stuff, finding a new doctor had no insurance that I had insurance and, you know, cause I took last summer off. Um, anyway, so now I'm back to that point because of COVID my, no, nah, I won't even go. Well, I should. My doctor who knows I need it because let's just say your, your thyroid number should be lower than 10 whatever the, whatever the thing is. Mine, because I'd been off my meds for so long, was at 750, which is bad, bad, almost dead bad. Um, and she knows I need the meds. So she gave me 60 days and this was like March, beginning of March. And she gave me 60 days worth of refills, told me to come and get more blood work done after I'd been on the meds for a minute. And I said, well, we've established I needed the meds and I've been on them for 20 years. So I, you know, well, you know, March 15th, the whole world cra went crazy. So, um, yeah, no, I wasn't going into a COVID testing center to, uh, um, I hope to, YouTube doesn't get mad that I said that, but I wasn't going there to get blood work to expose myself further than being an essential worker. So besides the fact, I think I already had it in January, you know, but whatever, um, January, February, I think we all had it here, but. It wasn't known then. Hang on. <clears throat> so, long story short, going to Virginia, I realized I have <clears throat> five pills left, and I'm going to Virginia for 10 days. And so I call up there and I say, well, um, can't you just give me 10 more and I'll get, I didn't want to come in because I'm going to see a brand new baby. So I'm not going into there to get anything done. And then I bought the new car and my paperwork to get my blood work done. <laughs> was in my old car so I don't even know where it is I mean I threw everything in a box <coughs> <coughs> oh and I picked my car up excuse me I picked my car up on a Friday and I left for Virginia on Monday so yeah there was no time and I worked straight up through till I left and then I had to work the very next day I came back so um yeah no time to look for that paperwork so 
I get on the phone with a nurse, long story short. Oh, the, the doctor. Well, she's not even a doctor. She's just a, well, I'm not saying just a because I appreciate the nurses, but she's just an RN. She's not even a doctor. She And she's not a specialist in thyroid disease because obviously, I mean, I could go into the whole story about her refusing to even get me meds till after she got the first blood work done, even though I told, you know, they had, oh, never mind. But so I not only was like off my meds for three months, but she made me wait an additional two weeks to get the blood work back before she'd even prescribe it. So that is why she only get, then she gave me two months and whatever. But yeah, I appreciate the medical field, but I can't, I don't appreciate ignorance. And so she even told me, oh, you know, it's really bad to be off your meds. But then I said, well, I need my meds because I'm going to Virginia to see my new baby. No, you got to come in and get blood work. Well, I don't know if I got to wait two weeks for the blood work to come back again before you give me more meds. And I might as well go to Virginia without it. So and I won't be exposed to the C word anyway. So ranting, ranting all over the place. What else? Um. So anyways, yeah, Stampin' Up! new catalog came out. If you want one and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, email me. Made by Marsha Mom at gmail.com and I will get you one. I know I'm already sending Carrie one. Um, so speaking of which, I think I'm to the point where I could just show you some of the cards that I've made that you haven't seen yet by anybody else. But I did send some out to other people on YouTube, so I should give you a list. I'm already at 21 minutes. Anyway, so I made this one. That's with a new stamp set. I did the Jennifer McGuire Spotlight Stamping. So this one actually is dimensional. I made that one just yesterday. And I've made this one. And I think you guys already saw that one. But this, these are new. Look, it's a daisy, daisy. I made that one. Says, so thinking of you. I think you can see that. Yeah. Using up paper and stuff in my different version, same card. Trying to use up paper. And what this is, is I take a piece of paper and I stamp all over it. Then I cut it down and make a card out of it. So there's that one. I love this one. Um, as painted poppies. This paper's not available anymore, but this is. And these are. So I got that one. I was doing, using up scrappies and I made this one. This is all individual pieces of paper that I cut up just crazy using scraps. And almost the same thing. Same paper twin card or fraternal twin card. And so they may be coming to a mailbox near you. Um, this one. And I was saving these. I wanted to send these out, but then um, I'll say thinking of you with all my heart. Um, I wanted to show them, and I said, so I ended up sending older cards out. I made that one. And this, if you do any paper crafting. I love the Wink of Stella. I didn't realize how much I love it, but there's Daisy's again. Hi, Daisy again. That one says smile. Um, I think you've seen this one. I think you've seen a lot of these. I think this is a relatively new one. It's purple. Hi, Seda. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Pat. She likes purple, too. Oh, here's a new one. I made that one. Got some bling on it. And 99.9% .9 of these are Stampin' Up! products that I think are all still available. I can't remember. I'm not getting rid of my old ones. That one. That one's embossed. I played around. There's a tulip one. That, I made that background. There's stamps that do that. It's so cool. I love making my own paper. Then I think Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Carrie's got the other half of this one. This is where you put it down the border, cut it, it, it glue the, the flowers together, cut it down the middle. So I think Carrie's got the sister card to that one. And then this one <laughs> I was supposed to send to Amber on my last round of cards. My my S looked like a five. 
or opposite or my five looked like an S. I don't know, but it came back to me. So I mailed it back to her and I forgot. I made her this thank you card for the presents and I forgot to mail it, but I made it in green because she likes green, but that's a stamp set too. And then I think, I don't know if I should, it's been so long. Uh, I didn't watercolor that. Um, that's um, a stamp and I use my pencils and my Gamsaw. This one I'm not so impressed with. I tried to do a matching paper thing for the tag and it just kind of went weird. But, I mean, it's cute. And then, I guess I didn't show the last two that I made yesterday. Sunflowers. That's um, a die and a stamp all put together. That's a die cut out. And then that one says... Know that you are loved. I, I wonder if these are reading backwards. They are backwards to me, but I made a matching envelope. And I played with this. So this is just a simpler version of that. So my neck is hurting because I got my camera at a weird angle. So, um, And then I made... I show that one. Thanks a bunch. Oh, look. More daisies. Hi, daisies. <laughs> My hey, my hey Daisy video. Um, anyway, so I, would, I had a ton more, but slowly but surely I'm starting just to mail them out. Um, and if you want a card, just let me know. I'll mail you a card. Because <laughs> um, what am I going to do with them? <laughs> anyway, so I don't know what I'm forgetting to say, but I don't even know what time it is. I have no idea. No earth. Oh, wait. I can look at my tablet. Let's see. Oh, it's only 10 minutes to 9, but I have to leave here. I have to be to work at noon. So I got to be out of here at 11. Um, yeah, crazy pantsness in this world right now. And I'm glad homeschooling is over with. Every, every adult in this house was an essential worker. So, excuse me, trying to get... Um, trying to get all that done and splitting schedules and figuring out and then you didn't know what the other adult had worked on with and then the we were getting text messages from the online learning and it was only going it, most days it only went to me uh, Ashley and I and we <laughs> I don't carry my phone at work because I know that they will not um they will not replace it if I break it, even though I'm allowed to carry my phone, but I don't carry my phone. So I didn't get the messages till I had a lunch or somebody would say, hey, your phone was beeping. Um, so sometimes <laughs> they missed the online class because we couldn't get, I didn't know. And um, Ashley's job, she um, she doesn't have her phone on her, although she was because they were making, I, it's a long story, but I won't even get into that because I'm at, Shoot, I'm at 30 minutes. I'm hoping to insert some pictures in here, but I don't know. Like I said, I have a new phone. I don't have that program, that other program on here. But I think this phone allows me to upload completely to YouTube. So I don't think I can add anything yet. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so um, good talking to you all again. Hopefully I'll get more videos out. Thank you for the subbies. I'm... I'm teetering 25 short of 500. And once I get 500 subbies, I do have like newish yarn that I haven't used. Um, or uh, I'll send you a card kit. You can make your own card. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm mostly paper crafting because of my hands. And um, I still have my... What am I working on? That um, The dragon. Is it a dragon? He's in a bag somewhere in here, um, which I'm running out of yarn for, and I have to decide how I'm going to stripe his legs. I'm still working on that. Still got to finish Emma's hat. Still have to... I'm still working on Ashley's blanket. <laughs> and then my daughter, when I brought her back, <coughs> excuse me, she got a whole box of... Oh, sorry. Earth moved. Um... She sent me a whole box of receiving blankets, the flannel kind. And I have to cut them all down and make her um, double-sided, um, like, rat, wash rags or whatever for the baby. Um, or her house or whatever. And 
I just now got my cutting board back and I'm going to have to beat my daughter because my uh, rotary cutting mat is a little bit bent and warped. I lent it to Ashley's job, which I don't want to say. Well, I can't say, but um, yeah. So I think I think Sumter County something or other is going to be a new cutting mat because I told her not to bend it, make sure it's laying flat. And I see... She brought it back to me so because she's not at work this week because she's in Virginia. So I could, and I don't even know where she put my rotary cutter. And if she, anybody thinks I'm hand cutting anything, they cray cray. Um, I need my rotary cutter or it's not going to get done. And I hope my serger is working because I brought that to Virginia. Here I go on a tangent. But um, when I brought everybody back, oh, my trunk was a lot more full than it was when I went there. So I'm hoping my serger even works. I haven't dared to try it because I'm afraid. Anyways... Um, thank you for watching, putting up with my ramblings. Um, thank you for subbing. I think I, uh, hi, Z, hi, well, hi, everybody. Hi, Rel. Hi, I should have made a list. You know, I comment on your videos. You know, I'm saying hi to you. Um, and sometimes, by the way, if I'm not commenting, I am watching. My new car is fancy. <laughs> so I can hook up and listen to YouTube while I'm driving. Um, so at least I'm listening and then if there's something I want to see when I get home, then I watch it on this TV here. Um, but when I watch it on the TV here, I cannot, um, it doesn't let you um, leave a comment. So when I'm at work, I'm on lunch, I will comment. Um, so that's what I use when I go to sleep at night. Um, and if it's something really important, I do comment. Even if I'm falling asleep, I'll get on to that. So when you see me misspell things, that's probably because I'm laying in bed watching you. and Or I can go on my computer and comment when I'm watching this if I need to, if I have to say something. But sometimes I just like, I think I can like videos from here. I haven't tried it. I think I can. I know I can sub from here, but I can't comment. Besides, it would take too long because with the... With a controller like this, you'd have to, like, you know, move around the whole alphabet like you do on the gaming systems. Yeah, no. So, enough rattling. And, um, probably my next video I will share some Stampin' Up! products with you. Show you what I have, maybe. If you're interested. And I will put Stampin' Up! in the title so that if you're only here for Yarny, then you could do that. I still have to do that tutorial on that box. And... I thought of a bunch of tutorials on card making. Now that I'm getting like, I'm kind of impressed with myself on this one. I love it. Um, but that was inspired by my friend Amanda at um, scrimpingmommy.co.uk. And yeah. So anyways, have a great day. I'm going to be off. I'm going to go get me some breakfast. And then I'm going to work. I'll see ya. No! Bye.